This is the HoloLens 2 Draw app, which uses hand tracking to draw things. And the hand tracking is really, really good. So, I'm going to draw something. I can't draw normally, so I'm not going to be able to draw an AR. Ooh, let me draw my name. So, I messed that up. Fix it a little bit. Oh, wait, it just deleted everything. Um, more importantly, I want to show the um, the near, or what happens when the fingers are near each other, or the hands are near each other. Um, so, let's see, grab. I'll stay in grab mode for now. I just want to show this. So, if you, oh, um, I guess I can draw. I'll just draw really thin. That's good enough. Um, so when the hands are near each other, it doesn't get super confused like most other hand tracking systems do. Well, there, there it went bad, but it's generally pretty good, especially if it's far enough from the headset. So when it's far from the headset, obviously it's going to get confused because the cameras can't converge on the hand anymore. But um, when it's far, even when they're in complicated um, configurations like this, it seems to do pretty well. So if you were to tie the knot, do I have a knot I can tie? I'll tie the Vive Pro cable. <coughs> so. Okay, so if I try to tie this, let me go out of draw mode. The only reason I'm even using this app is because it is the only one that I've seen in my 20 minutes using this thing that shows you the hands like this. Let me erase all this. All right, so if I want to tie this thing, um, I don't know what the knot that Austin was tying looks like, but if I try to tie this, I don't know, I'm just doing a bunch of random things. I'm trying to see what actually ends up breaking it. I mean, it breaks hard when you're out of the field of view, obviously. I notice that there is definitely some latency, but if you're recording the sequence like we are for our knot tying project, then that wouldn't really matter. So, I mean, the only time it has broken so far is when the hands go out of the field of view. By the way, the HoloLens 2 field of view is a lot better than I thought it would be. I mean, it's definitely noticeable after using the HoloLens 1 for years. Like, I can still see the hand when it's over here. Um, the boundary is pretty much like right here, for me right now. And uh, for the HoloLens 1, it would have been like over here. So at least I can see my hands when they're close to me, for the most part. Like, there's some clipping right here, but that's fine. Um, I don't know. What else should I do? Uh, let's see what happens in the case of occlusion. If I pick up my coffee cup. Okay, it does not like that. So grabbing like this is a no-no. But it doesn't do well with such extreme occlusion. But um, for the knot tying project, so we won't have to worry about that. For other projects, it might be important. Although, to be fair, maybe for this drawing project, they just didn't really bother handling occlusion, but maybe there is a way to do it. Or it'll show up in the mixed reality toolkit at some point. Um, I don't know. I mean, the knot, what else should I test? The knot tying looks good to me. 
I just learned the hard way that the HoloLens 2 can still only record like 5 minutes of video. It's a really weird limitation. Oh my god, how am I supposed to get that? Oh, I'm still in the drawing app. Uh, one thing I did notice is that you can open a lot of apps inside of other apps now. Like, you don't need to go inside of... Or you don't have to leave back to the HoloLens home to, uh... To show, like, the Photos app or the... I don't know, the internet and things like that. Okay, anyway, um, I don't care about the drawing. Uh, let's see, I wanted to test this quickly, so... If I... Do this... I'm really... The problem is you would have to be really far for this to work, I guess. But it's faring better than I thought it would with these manipulators. So if I do this... Oh, I don't even have my cube there, so I can't really test an actual scenario. But if I look at this one hand, you can ex I guess you can extrapolate to how it would work if they were both in the field of view. So... Um, I'm surprised it gets my index finger here. So, if I do this... The index finger gets a little bit wiggly, but... In general, it's doing pretty well. I'm kind of surprised that this configuration works. But the cup doesn't, because all the fingers are occluded here. But it still recognizes it as a hand. Um... I'll put that back, I guess. I don't know what else I can show without the cube. Um, the I like the new interface that lets you touch stuff. I miss the bloom gesture, though. That's not how you open the menu anymore. Now you do it by hitting the home button here. And it does open up decently fast now. And this thing is dying. But, um... I don't know what else to show. I'll show. I'll try to show some other hard configurations. Crisscrossing doesn't seem to work well. This works fine. I don't know, I think for the for our knot tying project this should actually be good. I don't know why your hands would be on top of each other like this during the knot tying process. I, I think that there's definitely a way to make that not be the case. But to try the knot tying again. I don't have any thinner knots than this right now. I don't want to unplug everything. But you can see that it fits pretty well. Where the collision boxes of your fingers would be, that's pretty accurate as far as I can tell. And apart from the latency, like it's not catching every single one of these motions, probably just as a frame rate limitation. Um, it's generally pretty good. So I'll stop this for now and do more stress testing later.